I am a member of an elite family who you despise. Ask me a question and I will answer them in short. Why? Because I can. All of the questions our guest will be answering were submitted on the internet forum godlikeproductions.com. Let's begin. What's an elite family? That's how most are calling it. Families who for a long time have been ruling the people who are not from these bloodlines. What's your thoughts on peak oil? It is known within certain circles that it is manufactured. The earth is producing more oil and gas than is being used now even, believe it or not, it is a natural process quote, the more you take, the more it produces to balance itself. Study the bees and the way they produce honey and you will understand. On top of that there are many places with large amounts of natural resources which never have been touched. The agenda? I think you know. What commonalities do the bloodlines share? Understand that quote, bloodlines, have been chosen to rule, it didn't just appear out of air. The souls which incarnate into these bloodlines who rule are picked by divine law. Other things don't have to be mentioned. No one rules me. Never has. A little old saying, the perfect slave is the one that says, I am not a slave. It is like an alcoholic saying he isn't an alcoholic so therefore he will always be an alcoholic. Get my drift. Where do you elite store your mentally ill relatives caused by centuries of inbreeding? It is a myth that inbreeding always causes problems. If the two persons who procreate carry genes which are of better quality than the rest, Why have you allowed us to breed like rats if population is what you feel threatens you? Number one, we haven't allowed that. You have more power than you think you have. Number two, population does not threaten, quote, us in any way, shape or form. Again, a myth. I am curious what a member of an elite family thinks of godlikeproductions.com. So what do you think? The more divided people are, the easier it is to rule over them. Making them believe they have a sword in their hand which they think makes them powerful and able to fight the quote dark sider, while it is just a toothpick. You have to be very careful who you give that imaginary sword to. Do you know that not just spoken words but also written words emanate a frequency which have a direct effect? And I would say that a vast majority of the written words on godlikeproductions.com are not helping the cause you think you are fighting for. What is your religious affiliation? Religion is created by us. The religions which rule now are the ones that are under total control. I can't give out too much about this but Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism are a bit off, let's say. There is a core of truth, but it is drowning in a sea of perversions, for you to pick out, good luck. What we believe in does not matter but it is about serving the divine law which was passed on to us. How about the world economy? One thing conspiracy theorists are right about is that it is based on money that doesn't exist, never existed, never will. The ones who own the banks also own the media and politics, so it can be portrayed the way they want you to believe it. When will the wheat be separated from the chaff? Or do you want to get rid of the wheat and leave the chaff for your slaves? Whichever, when will it happen? I'm tired of false states, please be honest this time. I know 100% sure there is no end time, at least not like it is being portrayed everywhere, be it religion, media, etc. This place was never meant to end the way it is being described. There will be a time when everyone will be released but that is not a mass event, but rather one by one, work on yourself. I'm curious to know why the elite do not lead? They seem to be more of a parasite on society. A fish in the ocean can't see that birds are flying in the sky. Have you or any of your family members ever participated in an occult ritual and, if yes, what was the nature of it? Rituals have a meaning which cannot be understood by most. Rituals are there to connect with the higher beings who govern this realm. We are doing our job. Well I'd have to say your divine law has messed up this planet and its people very well. Peasants like you don't understand that you do it, nobody else. 
By the way, by what you just said you lengthened your stay here on Earth one more lifetime. My condolences. Do you frequent the Bohemian Grove and fully participate in cremation of care sacrifice to Moloch, having sex with male homosexual prostitutes, orgies, etc.? Those and other similar places are for the politicians and media people, they are obligated. Sometimes a bloodline will be present but will not participate in those acts which are not the rituals we do. Do you consider the prevalence and success of organized crime families and syndicates as a massive failure of your collective will? They are there for a reason. They aren't as successful as they look though, they are broken. Why do you continue to attempt to control mass consciousness by spreading fear through every outlet available to you? Why not set the knowledge free as was intended long ago? The written word is spreading the wings of truth. The sword has been given to the sheep, and the day of reckoning is soon at hand. I believe in no law of divinity or hierarchy. We are all equal unto the eyes of the Creator and for that must you answer in your time. The meek are inheriting the earth presently, I pray for you. If that was the aim, it would be done in an instant. You do not understand what this world we live in really is. This time I have no question. I do however have a statement. The time of reckoning is at hand. It is not. It goes. The best slave is one who thinks he is free. Is it ultimately all a matter of genes? Do you understand self-cloning? Do you agree that the planet is replete with false allies and false enemies? That's not how it originally goes, about the slave. If you listen carefully you will see. Last question has a yes as an answer, there are also no real allies or enemies. If you are indeed who and what you say you are, then you will know that you and your ilk are in big trouble. Your time is short and those you belong to who are in our space quadrant as we speak, already know it. I imagine they are a tad busy right at this moment. But of course you must keep up appearances even when you know you fight a losing battle. Personally I will be very happy to see the day, and it is coming, sooner than you think. There is no end of time. A long time ago, the people did almost manage to take over, and then bad things happened on earth to those people. What are you seeing now? Are you really living on the planet you think you are? The quote higher beings who govern this realm, do you serve them? By what names do you call them? Have you ever seen them? Where do they reside? They penetrate everything and they are benevolent. What really hit the Pentagon on 9-11? Does it matter what hit it? Too much question dodging. I did not sign a contract which says I have to answer everything. Some questions do not need an answer and others do not mean a thing even though you think it does. How strange that some of you who talk about love, might, and peace are the ones who two sentences later cuss and talk about murdering others, smirking about it being soon. Are you sure you are on the quote good side? For the ones who are a bit smarter than that, ask away, I will answer the way I choose to. Before you ask the question, force yourself to think outside the box that was created for you by others. Ask a real question that you thought about, formulate it in detail. For the others if you could leave out cussing, hate, bigotry, and prejudice which is based on your guru's amazing wisdom it would show you are a bit more evolved from the peasant stage. I will not answer all questions, sometimes because it is obvious if you think about it or parts of it have been answered, other times because I do not have the obligation to do so. So is Bill Gates more elite than you? How about Queen Elizabeth? Are you an Arab? Can't you control the oil instead of the Arabs? The ones you know the names of are not true bloodlines like you have been taught by theorists. They are not the ones who write the symphony, neither conduct it. The ones you mentioned and other known names merely play the violin or cello when they are told to, the way they are told to. It does not matter what race I am, has no effect on anything. Oil is already under full control like all natural resources. Why does visualization work? It does not work for everybody, you have to reach a certain stage in your development. This means living by strict rules, applying them to everything you do in life, in detail. 
Most humans do not have the discipline nor temperance to achieve that stage. Some here talk like they can but I know even without knowing anything about their lives that they are further away from it than they think. Quote, visualization works because it is an essential way of the creational process in this material universe. The universe is a living entity who uses its mind to create and the beings created from that may have that same power too within their boundaries. Now the question is, who is using David Icke? And better question, why? David Icke has a core of truth he is trying to pass. What he does not realize is that this actually works against him. The reptilian part was fed him by the ones who worked for the bloodlines. In a period of seven, eight months he was bombarded with quote, victims who witnessed shape-shifting, satanic rituals, etc. in such a way he could not refuse to not believe it. Sometimes the quote, witnesses were led to him a few times a day, depending on his location. Others like David Icke, and there are more than you think, have been fed similar stories. Really, I am not reptilian. The answer why does not have to be answered. Are you part of the Divine Brotherhood? Are you me? Are you he who manipulates the Matrix? Inquiring minds want to know, cause I'm thoroughly confused. You say we despise you, but I could not imagine despising any being from the Divine Realms. Then you act like you're part of the quote, elite bloodline, on Earth, but what would bloodlines have to do with the spiritual world? Again. I'm confused. Could you clarify? Just what is the elite of whom you say we despise, and yet who apparently has all the inside scoop? You are confused for you have accepted the other versions of the quote, truth, and you think you have a sight of the big picture, but what I said is misses huge parts of it. There is a misconception about bloodlines. Obviously, the questions that are being asked here prove that. But there is a reason for that, and it serves an important purpose. We manipulate this world only as far as we are allowed to by the divine law. We provide you with tools and then it is up to you to determine how you use it. Tools can be used in a malicious way but no one is forcing you to use them that way. You are choosing yourself. So despising the ones who provide you with the tool that you voluntarily chose to quote, sin, with, is about your trying to camouflage your tracks. You get what you deserve, that is how this universe works. We do our duty, so do yours. There is a very old saying, unrecorded in open history quote, the devil doesn't know he's the devil. He thinks he's God. Wrong. It actually states that humans who worship the quote, bad, think they worship the quote, good. Earlier you said quote, you do not understand what this world we live in really is. Care to elaborate on this statement? Only if you formulate the question and understand that certain questions need to be answered by yourself only, not others, otherwise they have no purpose. I'm not coming back to your planet next time smoke on that. What gave you the impression that when that time comes, you have a say in that? What is the reason that your people came to this planet? Almost the same reason you came. Now, what quote, elite, family does anyone know well enough to quote, despise? W, is that you? To clear this up once and for all, the bushes are not bloodline. In fact, they are your kind who wanted to be worshipped by your kind. I will sum it up again in short, the ones that have known faces and names are not directly bloodline. They are not the composers or conductors, they just play the flute the way they are told to. Bushes, Clintons, Sharons, Arafats, Hitlers, Dalai Lamas, Mandelas, Blairs, Gores, Chavezes, Gandhis, Kennedys, Lennons, Dillons, Einsteins, Michelangelo's, Pope's, Caesar's, Aristotle's, Herodotus, Akhenotans. They all play or play their part the way they are, or were told to. These people who love recognition and praise of your kind would not be allowed to be in the same room with some people I am related to. The following message is from GodlikeProductions.com's owner. Rather than give them a sword or a toothpick, I give them a canvas and a pen.
the words as you say have vibration and effect. And though yes many that are written here are contrary to the one, some ring true. It is those few, that matter most. I was recently asked by a friend of mine, what do you do when you have mastered the game? This seems like a question that would apply to one in your situation as well. My answer was, save as many as you can. I am curious to know, what is yours? If it has an immediate effect it is not a canvas and a pen anymore but a sword. An imaginary one but nonetheless a sword. And it is not working the way you think it does. You say most are contrary to the one and that is true, in fact almost all is contrary. But you say because of the few that ring quote, true, it is worth it. You cannot have two contrary essences at the same time and place even though they may have the same spring. Which means one of the two is not present here. Do I have to tell you which one that is? About mastering the game. How does one know they have mastered it? Does someone else tell them? See, if the quote, master, is not really a master yet he acts like one it will mean he will make errors. He will have flawed thoughts and act accordingly. People will start listening to him and adopt the flawed opinions and way of living. Eventually he will do more harm than one bloodline actually has the power to do personally. Hence why quote, leaders, have been created for you who quote, have mastered their game. Jesus of Nazareth is a nice example. He was created, this human has many worshippers and they have murdered in his name and still do. For instance, George W. Bush. Jesus of Nazareth was not a master of the game, he was a puppet being used in the game and he still is serving the agenda among you. So you might think you are saving as many as you can like him. But are you really? How would I answer the question, what do you do when you have mastered the game? Checkmate. Is Earth a prison? Yes and even worse. The ones who believe the contrary will never escape. Why, oh why would an alleged member of a quote elite family waste one minute minute of their time or give credence to the cesspool that is godlike productions.com? Bloodlines are not robots who all act the same. You are confusing the ones who you think control you with others. Now on the population reduction. We have a few brewing like AIDS. However, it has been my feeling that the release of a bioweapon will be in a timely fashion cloaked in chaos from another event. What say you on that? There is no plan to reduce the population that is fully in the hands of the people. However certain events have been seen as just that while they are serving another purpose. A misconception. Just because it comes across like population reduction does not mean it is exactly that. Really, if the goal was population reduction, it would have been done a long time ago in a span of a few weeks. In fact the opposite is more true in most areas on this planet. What you said could happen but it would be done by the ones who control the lower areas. The ones up higher do it through the daily items you consume. Was Yahweh an extraterrestrial negative entity? Or was he a fiction invented by the Jewish fantasy factory during the time the Greeks ruled Palestine? If the name of an entity is public, it means it is fabricated. Yahweh used to represent an age where mass control was taking shape. Ah, so Mormons are the only ones who are barking up the right tree. Authority and all that. No. Don't you get sick and tired of the lack of real equality in the music and the movies? With your power and money and influence why do you not prime the pump with some really good stuff? The ones who search hard will find the gems in music, in fact they are out in the open. It is not our duty to enlighten you, that is yours. We hand out the tools that can be used in the way you choose to, quote, good or bad. What are the three things that have you concerned about most regarding the upsetting of the apple cart? By this I mean things that are beyond the direct control of the powers that be that you are scrambling to prepare against. Nothing to do with us but with the puppets. Who owns and runs the show on planet Earth? Please list the major player groups who actually answer to each successive level beginning from the top down. Descriptions are fine if you don't want to divulge names. Is it like a pyramid, or is it a number of factions vying for power and control? The shape of a pyramid, yes. But people forgot the underground chamber. The top of the pyramid is not the top. 
What do you fear the most? Fear is based on physical impulses. The physical is not important. My full-blood Italian maternal lineage traces back to King Charles I, Charlemagne but by name, Count Dotto Dotti who was the captain of the archers for Prince Philippe, King Charles IV and who was part of the coup to secure the quote, secret, from the mere vengeance in the Knights Templar. I won't discuss the secret, which I am sure of, but I don't understand why you operate in the fashion that you do and I operate in the fashion that I do then as a result. This does not mean that I am of any particular bloodline that is part of the ultimate that you speak of, but my life is far more progressive than anyone that I know scientifically and professionally regardless of the economy. And I do see the quote, illusion, all around me. Explain this please. I have explained it a bit. Your lineage is not what you think it is. Charlemagne, like other quote, kings, merely played the flute, like his descendants do now in politics especially. However if there are traces of the lineage within you, and this goes deeper than just blood and genes as you know, then obviously you will understand your surrounding better than others. There are people who are directly linked and they will act differently. Do you think inside of that this current battle is in two stages? Now, on the etheric. And, a thousand years from now, on the astral, once all the heart people have dropped their physical bodies and have graduated to higher life forms the next being the astral. Then, the whole show starts all over again, with different players. You are confusing a few matters. There is just one struggle and it is now, here on this planet and on a personal level. Meaning you only. There is no enemy you can attack except yourself. If you are busy attacking something else, you are wasting precious energy and you will fail. If you succeed, there will be no struggle anymore. You state that we have the tools to work with. Can you tell us some of them, something to work with so we may free ourselves? You agree that we are on a prison planet. I thought more like a zoo, where we are being observed and studied. But if we are on a prison planet, then I must understand that we truly have no free will. Correct? The tools are in your hands, around you, everywhere. It is even being drawn out of you. It is your duty towards yourself to reveal them to yourself and then do as you please with them. There is always a consequence. Prisoners still can determine what they do in their prison with the tools that were provided to them. They can decide how to walk in the yard, how to talk, think. You have free will therefore you suffer and are aware of your suffering. Why give me tools to escape a prison? Sounds counterproductive to what a prison is for. I have known that the powers that be are puppets moved around by hands that we cannot see, nor may ever see, but why make them look and act seemingly stupid or at the least illogical? Are you wanting a revolution? What you are saying is that the war is within, not without, though the powers that be seem to want us to think it is without. Why distract us? What is it that they don't want us to accomplish? Freedom? And yes. I am reminded every day of my suffering. We are neutral and doing our duty which many times comes across as being negative. If you observe closely you will see we merely spreading the tools which can be used by you to free yourself or chain yourself, your choice. The divine law has a purpose for you and it is not on this planet. Proof you are worthy again to be released. The distraction is part of that. It is about knowing who is and who is not. The ones who support any of these known faces are failing. It sounds like you are cautioning the owner of Godlike Productions.com against giving full reign to freedom of speech. Is this correct? He may do as he pleases and accept the consequences in the bigger picture. What is your interpretation of the divine law and how can I make peace with myself? Knowing yourself and where you really are, are the two most important issues that you should be involved with. It is your task to find out. In fact, if someone gave you the correct answers, it would not mean a thing to you for they would not be attached to you in a way they would if you would have found them yourself. If you find the answers to those, you have accomplished a huge part of your duty towards yourself. After that your task would be living according to the divine law which is revealed to you after that stage until departure. Are you familiar with the black nobility? 
I have traced and linked all ancient royal families of Europe and the Middle East still present to this day. I know their names and their connections to power, wealth and influence across the world. I can even identify the very person who is the potential Antichrist, he has all the correct makings, a wonderful, benign young man who has yet to realize his full potentiality as a world leader. The black nobility love this young man. And lastly, are you a small part of the black nobility, insider? The dark nobility is a faction which operates on their own, they have different roots which have been described in texts written by my ancestors. It is a much smaller group than most would claim, because the core is different to the quote, outer walls. They are the ones which you all confuse with my kind and therefore direct the hate towards the wrong ones, as shown by some of the questions by the lesser intelligent. About the Antichrist. There are at this moment literally billions of Antichrists. I am not one. You will find them among Christians, Muslims, Jews, Atheists, Satanists, Agnostics, Buddhists, Hindus, etc. They don't need a leader to be more anti-Christ. I have to make clear that the Christ has nothing to do with Jesus of Nazareth, that part was later fabricated. Do you subscribe to the view, that our dualistic reality provides excellent opportunities for souls to develop unconditional love, so they may transcend our dialectic universe? rather than escaping from it. Do you also believe in the law of balance and karma, allowing a soul to be king in one lifetime, a beggar in the next? If so, it doesn't really matter whether you're a member of the elite, it may be a unique experience on soul level, as unique as any role in society, as long as the soul progresses. Is the historian Lawrence Gardner a powerful member of the elite as I claims, or is he just an average guy with access to hidden information? Thanks for your communication, Insider. It is the task of every soul to accomplish that while in this human shape. There is a part that can be called escaping which will be followed by transcending. If failing, reincarnation. However the word quote, love, is misunderstood. It is not meant to be the love in human terms which humans are enslaved by. That is the corrupt version of the real one. The divine law controls what is called karma, but it is much broader and quote, harsher, than people want to accept. Example, someone who gets cancer and dies a slow painful death deserves it, that person is being corrected, it is for his own good. Sounds quote, harsh. That's the way it works. Just because it comes across as negative in this realm does not mean it is negative in the big picture. What you are talking about which is reincarnating into the opposite of your former life, there is no universal law which states that will definitely happen. Reincarnation is a fact though, but if you achieve your task there is no reincarnation, no need to experience all levels of life on earth for they are mainly pointless to experience. Gardner is one of those persons who wants to be praised and recognized by the people, so he gets it in return for some favors, by that I mean spreading misinfo which here and there contain the facts, which hooks people. He was initiated in certain levels but it is not as in-depth as one would think, including himself. He is clever though. He is a member of at least six quote, societies, although three of them are closely linked and could be seen as one, so far at least. But these have only as much power and control as you the people give them. People like Ike are giving them more power unknowingly. I am real. Is this because Christians teach that individuals should be under the control of a God who is holy? Or should I say, one who judges right and wrong? Christianity is about idolizing a human called Jesus of Nazareth first, which is an abomination. Christians teach what they have been told to teach by the ones they oppose. I can tell you who the four individuals were who wrote the Hebrew Old Testament and the exact date, if it suited me. Same about your New Testament which was gathered by six people from two different areas. Why do you choose to speak now? Some of us have the task to do it within certain boundaries. How do you suppose certain knowledge and pastimes was suddenly there? Luck, chance, coincidence. What is this divine law you talk about? The divine law is the manifestation of the will of the superior one which not only creates everything that exists within this universe but also maintains, nourishes, balances, energizes and renews it. It also reigns in other realms, 
including the realm you originally belonged to. Why do you manipulate this world? I have answered this many times, it is our duty. How do you know who is allowing you? Is your job given to you or taken by you? Rituals have a purpose. If you were doing something which was not allowed or doing a task which was not given to you, you will suffer during these rituals. In your daily life you will notice it too. Emanations have many forms and one who knows about these matters will have no trouble recognizing with whom he is dealing with and what the message is. Are you a human being? I am like you present in this human shape. How is this knowledge gained? By hard work or does it simply happen to one? This has been answered by me in a previously in short you have the duty to quote, gain it. Temperance will lead you to the rightful place from where it all starts. Before this you must know yourself and what this place is, where most people go wrong, otherwise your thoughts will be filled with error which will lead to erroneous ways. Do you know the purpose of your life? If so how did you learn about it? Yes. These matters are not passed on to you in detail by someone, that actually will lead to the opposite of what needs to be achieved, hence my way of answering, understand this. You can be guided up to a certain point and then it is up to you. What can you tell us about Mohammed? It is a quote, sin, to worship, idolize, praise humans who were part of this planet in any way, shape or form, including when talking and or writing about them. A human is corrupt while on this planet. Each and single one of them. A quote, death, does not change the personality one had and leave behind here, do not feed it. Praise and prayers may only be offered to perfect beings. Muhammad was like Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Buddha, a human who was led to believe he was a Noah, or like mentioned earlier quote, master of the game. It is very easy to make humans believe they are enlightened and know the truth. And then thinking it is their task to wake up others. He was used and his legacy is still being used to divide people, just like the other religions, ideologies, quote, philosophies. Two of his closest assistants were servants of the bloodlines, one of his wives was two. Bloodline servants were also assistants of Jesus, Buddha, Moses, name them all. After his death it was made sure by these three that his followers would be divided which was the main thing Muhammad was told to be against. So Muslims who believe in separate streams of Islam are actually rebelling against their own quote, prophet. And that would be pretty much all Muslims. The Quran has a core of truth but it is floating in a sea of perversions, together with the other quote, holy, books. It was written by four individuals from three quote, countries, one being Western, two Middle Eastern. Are you Antichrist? Jesus of Nazareth is not the Christ, nor is anything I have said Antichrist. The ones who claim the opposite are. So, is a family where the children are naturally born with this ability to do visualization? part of the quote bloodline. No. In fact someone who has no connections to these families whatsoever can have this ability too. This ability is there for everyone to receive. You have to dial in. It is being provided by the divine law to everything that searches for it. I tried to make this clear earlier. The blood, genes, etc. are not as important as they seem. The physical realm is weak and it cannot affect the divine. Someone with no connections to the families can be affected by divinity in such a way that he could surpass anything the bloodlines ever could achieve combined. Certain individuals get born into the bloodlines to be able to reign over the people under certain circumstances, that is what the bloodline mainly is about. To me elite means those who place money before people or any real values at all. And those who hold office either because they can buy it or inherit it regardless of whether or not they are qualified. You just skillfully described your kind, not mine. Are you a Rothschild? Here is my question, although petty in light of the many questions posed to you in this interview, why aren't the any of the Rothschilds listed in Forbes top 500 richest people? If you listened closely you would have not asked this question. The ones who are known in public are not in control, the Rothschilds are at the same level as your Knights Templar ancestors were. You shouldn't be proud that you are from that lineage by the way. These known families, clans, societies are merely dancers to the tune. But to answer your question, 
No, I am not a Rothschild. Which family am I from? Most on Godlike Productions.com talk about the bloodlines who rule, yet they do not know who they are. They wrongly assume they are the Bushes, Clintons, Rothschilds, etc. because some theorists quote, researched, it and some quote, insiders, told them by providing evidence. I am from a ruling family whose name rarely has been mentioned in history, no one will even know who we are. Second, you accepting Forbes as a reliable source for these kind of lists shows you are easily manipulated and do not grasp what is happening. Worthy. An interesting word. Are you expecting those of us who know about the world of polarity and try our best not to play the polarity game, to believe that we need to be worthy? In whose eyes? It can only be our own. Whatever happened to the idea that the universe is within us? Gaia and all other dimensional quote, realities, are illusions, no? So the prison is an illusion, right? P.S. Baby, and by the way, we don't have free will on this planet. Perhaps you slip as showing? Do you know who manufactured this new age nonsense you just promoted? If this prison is a quote, true illusion, get out then right now, I dare you. It is not like in the movies. You play the victim part. You do not even accept you have free will, therefore you will always be ruled over, never prevail and deserve everything you get according to universal laws. I may be back tomorrow. And if these beings you are dealing with are Lucifers? Different beings have different characteristics which makes it easy to identify them during rituals. If it was a quote, malicious, being guiding me, I would not be talking in the way I do. Someone who is led by quote, malicious, forces cannot utter or write certain words, phrases without it affecting him. The ones who are led by them also cannot accept hearing or reading certain things without getting overly mad and or aggressive. This is when quote, malicious, beings are present every time you cuss, talk negative, plot a scheme, get violent, utter lies, support murder, get sexually aroused, get afraid, get jealous, even laugh out loud, being overly joyful, they appear near you. One, two, three, or more of them. Quote, malicious, beings are from this realm, this is their home. You cannot hate them for they are doing their task, their rightful duty and it is connected to your behavior. Understand, you are the perpetrator, they react. They never instigate, you do. If you do hate them you are missing an important part of the reality. Respect them up to a certain point. This will also show you are conscious about them and that will be recognized. I say quote, malicious, because they are not malicious, they only appear to you in your manufactured perception to be so. People are perpetrators who play the victim part. Number one, how does real consciousness interface with this prison? Number two, what are the techniques to break the hold of the interface and quote, free, the consciousness? Depends what is meant by real consciousness and interface, from where I stand they could be almost the opposite of what you may mean. Real consciousness is what is provided to you when you are in tune with the mind of the universe which operates according to the divine law, they are not the same like many are led to believe. This mind penetrates everything, it rules over everything, so if you would connect with it you may experience its unlimited power. No prison can confine this power, hence there will be an escape, you will be guided up to a certain point, yet most work is to be done by you. But that is just the beginning, much work lies ahead concerning yourself. I have explained a few times as far as I am allowed to how to connect, at least how to start with it. It truly is up to you. I would hesitantly add that studying ancient texts will help, although a lot is filled with perversions and wrong translations, intentionally, but this only after a certain level of awakening, you will recognize and or remember the small parts which are true. If you are not on that level you will take parts of the perversions and all wrong translations as the truth and fail. Care to tell us which it is? You some sort of good guy who gives up tools or do you rule over us? Did you change your mind, or what? Neutral means in the terms I used, neither negative nor positive, merely providing the tools you can choose to use as you wish. You are the perpetrator. Or would you say I control every aspect of your life, every hour, every minute, 
every second and force you what to think, say, do. Do not be mad at the wrong individual. Is it necessary to know why we are here to escape, or just work out where we are? Are the answers to be found quote, inside, or by quote, joining, societies, or by appealing top divine intervention, or all three, or none? It is necessary to have a view of the whole spectrum. When it is partial it will be like looking through the window while it is partially covered with a curtain. You do not know what is behind that covered part therefore cannot act accordingly. What covers the whole spectrum? Understand this place, what and where it is, know what you are, how you came here, why you came here, how to return. Prepare yourself for the answers, cleanse yourself, reach out for the mind, speak within quote, without, that you are ready, live strictly according to the answers. Do not join quote, secret societies, never, whatever the circumstances are. Also no religions, including the New Age, do not accept human gurus, prophets, priests, rabbis, imams, popes, fortune tellers, quote mediums, Dalai Lamas, politicians, authors, scientists, quote celebrities, parents, etc. as legitimate authority on divine matters. On other matters it is your choice to accept or decline, however accept the consequence. You only need yourself and the divine, no intervention by others in bodies. Again, no intervention by anybody. If your father asks you for a glass of water to show if you care for him and are disciplined, do you bring it directly to him or do you take the glass of water to your neighbor and ask him to tell you what it is that your father really asked, while the neighbor did not hear it and now is drinking the glass of water himself? Am I also a neighbor? I have not touched the glass of water, I opened the door and told you to go back to your father. No one has offended me, people offend themselves. I would be offended if what I say was against the one and if it is, I shall pay. I answer the questions I am asked and say as much as time allows me. Sometimes I skip a question because it has been answered, other times the question is irrelevant. What are your comments on this era? This error is counterproductive to you personally in the long run. What are your comments on Planet X? Planet X does not exist anymore like so many planets, moons, stars, galaxies. Their demise however always brings forth something, which means they never stop being part of the whole, playing their part. What are your comments on the pole shift? It happened two times to my knowledge, in the second and third era, if necessary it will be done again. What are your comments on the second coming? You returning back to where you belong after you have succeeded, which means a second coming cannot take place on earth for you do not belong here. People who are waiting for a quote, savior, on earth to do all the work for them are all failing. I have noticed some Christians have gotten angry and are attacking me on a personal level by damning me, it is their choice. I talked more about Christianity than other religions because the questions gave room for that. I would say and have said similar things about the other religions and ideologies when asked about What interests me is this, if someone takes the time and trouble to follow up the leads and clues left in numerous books and legends and sorts out the wheat from the chaff, what then if that person puts into practice what they have learned, do they come closer to the truth that the bloodlines evidently have access to? Yes. Again, the bloodline is only important for ruling over people, it is not about having a special power that makes one more aware, although the knowledge is being passed on so therefore it appears like that. But this knowledge is not hidden, the truth cannot be hidden, it wants to be known by you, inviting you every moment of your life. That is the reason why it through the ruling powers is being provided to you accompanied with perversions, corrupt additions, to confuse and make you accept the latter. There is not one written book which contains the truth and nothing but the truth. Pick it out and live accordingly to it, incorporate it into every aspect of your life. That is the hardest part for people if you have to float above this physical material world while being in the body that dictates the opposite. How close to the truth are the writings of Neil Donald Walsh in his Conversations with God series? Are you in any way related to the bird tribes mentioned in Ken Carey's Starseed Millennium books? 
Is there much truth in the writings of Sheldane Needle of www.powweb.com? The Native Americans have preserved knowledge successfully but nowadays, the last century or so, it is being presented in an erroneous fashion. Integration is quote working. About the authors mentioned, like I mentioned before it is not in your interest to accept human intervention, advisors, salesmen between you and the divine. They may say certain things which are true, yet it will never be complete. No one on this earth has the power to quote, free, any of us. No one outside this earth sees a reason to free any of us. The divine source itself, if there is such a thing is waiting for us to free our own selves, individually. There will be no quote, mass ascension, no quote, mass enlightenment, and quote, we the people have all been duped by quote, we the people, into prolonging our sentence here. We can stay here in this place for eternity if that is our choice, and we have created a belief system that allows us to do so. I would leave out the sentences quote, no one outside this earth sees a reason to free any of us. And quote if there is such a thing. About the first sentence, there was a time when there were beings who had the power to do it but that was not their task. And the divine sources. There is no quote, waiting, quote, wanting, etc. You are on the way, but living it is an important part of the task. And by divine law, Christ was sent here to correct the situation. Yes, but Christ did not descend into the body of a human called Jesus of Nazareth, 2014 years ago on March 20th, almost two hours before sunrise, which is the secret time of birth of your quote. Son of God, the Christ, which has a different quote, real, name but I will use this name here appeared once, just once, and this was in another era, not even close to our era where Jesus of Nazareth also lived in. Do you know who keeps the knowledge about the real Christ alive? And do you know who keeps the knowledge about the fake Christs alive? The opposite of what you are thinking. Why do all elitists worship Lucifer the liar and deceiver? Billions of people on this planet are serving their own corrupt material, physical, mental, emotional desires. Are they all elitist? Is there currently a family feud between the quote, higher beings? The higher beings are not in physical bodies, they have no quote, feuds. They are not under the control of this realm therefore cannot suffer from this. You are referring to human bloodlines and I reckon it is pretty obvious from what I have been writing here what the answer to your question is. There always have been some who do not do their duty. I am from a minority. People do not see a difference between the factions. Red Chinese get harp, retaliation for Hurricane Rita, Super Typhoon, eye for eye? What about this? Do not pay attention to the quote, world events. They are all orchestrated to make you pay attention to them. The struggle you should pay attention to is on a personal level. Before accepting a certain knowledge, you have to investigate where it comes from. Some things you should consider are where the quote, knowledge, comes from, when it was released, how it became and by whose hands. More importantly, who controlled those hands documenting it? I am saying this with the best of intentions. Investigate the roots of your quote, knowledge, and see for yourself, it is for your own good. Knowledge does not just appear out of nothing, it is passed on, always. There are no exceptions. And, you are part of the quote, elite family, that we despise, yet, no one has ever heard of you? Why would we despise someone that we don't know of? Why do we despise you? Do we even know that we despise your family? Or, is it because of what you know about what we consume on a daily basis that we would despise you, if we knew what it was? And if the ones we know the names of are not the quote, true bloodlines, and you say that you are a member of an elite family whom we despise, then you are inferring that we know you, in order that we may despise you. How can this be, if the quote, true bloodlines, are the names and faces of people we do not know? Is it more the nature of your presence we despise, or the position you take in the life we despise? And, if that is so, then do all people despise you or just those who do not know or understand your true intent, and or nature? Last time I will answer this one. It is about the misconception about who rules. 
Terms are being used which do not apply to my family yet they are part of the ruling. The flawed perception of the nature of the presence and a flawed perception about the positions which lead to affecting the lives of people. Again, you are in control. One cannot despise others because of one's own lack of understanding about the matter, yet that is exactly what happens, i.e. wrong target, wasted energy. And, who or what do the quote elites answer to? Everyone answers to the one eventually. Answering certain questions or elaborating on certain issues will have the opposite effect of what needs to be achieved. It will not help you. Do you have any connection with the Anunnaki that the Sumerians wrote of? They are not here anymore. That was another era. Their knowledge was not theirs. Knowledge is always passed on hence it being present now. How close to the truth is the book The Illuminatus Trilogy, The Eye and the Pyramid, The Golden Apple Leviathan by Robert Shea and Robert Anton Wilson? I have not read them. If it is getting critical acclaim and being promoted heavily, you know what time it is. It may contain some truths, but they will be floating in a sea of perversions. No one is saying that authors are doing it knowingly by the way. Some do. Praise and recognition loving ones, the ones who quote, sold their soul, some don't, and, the latter get noticed and promoted because it serves them. Nothing is easier than to write a bestseller book, hit album, movie script if you know what the highest promoter's agenda is. Is Moroni who is mentioned in the Book of Mormon really an extraterrestrial from the Pleiades and, are such beings still interacting with humanity at present? Mormons are like the other religious people controlled by the ones who controlled their quote prophets, quote sons of God, quote angels, quote saints, etc. In this realm a soul which was in a physical body once cannot become an angel, the soul cannot transform into that, again in this realm, I repeat that firmly. Yet it is claimed that Moroni was resurrected as an angel in this realm. Mormonism has a core of truth, like the other religions, so reading the texts will not harm you as long as you are cautious. What are the foods etc. that are used to control us? Is there anything we should and shouldn't consume that would help us to see the reality more clearly? See my earlier answers for the food part. It is one part of the manipulation, it is used in combination with six other methods of control in your daily life. If you can quote, delete, a few from your life or have less exposure to them, the effect will reduce dramatically, but this is not what will make you more self-conscious. These methods are used to wear you out, lower your quality of life. They are interlinked. The methods are number one, food and drinks, number two, medication, quote health care, including vitamins, number three, electrical waves, including your PC and cell phone, how's electronic network, Everything chip number four, media, be it TV, radio, newspapers, magazines, internet, the most obvious method, yet the most enslaving. Number five, music, sounds. This is a different method than media, used in a different way, although, most times through the media. Number six, air pollution, number seven, education system, including known literature which is mostly corrupt, be it history, Psychology, metapsychology, quote, philosophy, art, science, poetry, religion, even fairy tales told to infants. Politics takes these methods and bombard you with this every day and make sure they are maintained. The rule is, if promoted, praised, applauded, critically acclaimed, free, be very wary. Be it food, medicines, latest technological product, quote, artist, politician, Musician, book, show, beverage, etc. Some of these allegedly quote, stand the test of time, that is orchestrated for a reason. Problem is if too wary, you could miss a few gems that are deliberately passed on in between the manipulation tools by some. There are a few other methods such as societies, cults, sex, people policing each other, etc. But the six I mentioned a moment ago are the core which has been promoted since the French quote, Revolution. What constitutes, quote, temperance? Is it moderation in all things or more than that? Temperance means conscious form of restraint based on self-knowing to achieve inner order of the soul, which is the unseen you as a whole, 
The soul is not a part of you, you are one. Restraining the emotions, desires, passions, energies does not mean cutting it off, that will harm you, beware, but channeling them to work for higher causes after taming them gently. This all does lead to a sober life, yet simpler, filled with gifts because you fully become your own master, instead of your emotions, desires, passions, dictating you how to be. Simultaneously with this process you will be cleansing yourself and will be ready to be enlightened by the universal mind. Be like that which you want to connect with as much as possible. Do you have friends who you meet from outside the bloodline? Yes, but it is not a wise thing to know many people. Do you feel empathy, hate, or remorse? The body forces you to experience empathy, hate, remorse and all other emotions, together with desires and passions, to confuse you, make you forget yourself, become a dumbed-down version of yourself. They have their foundation in this material physical world. The more you let them be your masters, the stronger you will chain yourself to this world, which is contrary to your duty, yet do not loathe them, respect. I channel them to a place where they can be used for something substantial. I am asking how does one reconnect with the Divine Source? How does one rise above this prison? I reckon my answers today have covered that, if not do you personally ask again. I'm not saying each of us is God, the ultimate source, but we are our own God due to the fact that we create our own reality. What say you insider? You partially described free will and the impression it can give you, nothing more or less. Also the word quote, love, has many traps, especially the way you used it. You said Earth is a prison. Are you referring to light trapped in matter? If yes, then I'm beginning to see all the points you've alluded to so far. Trapped would be the wrong word, it would imply that the Divine had wrong intentions. Rather, contracted in a way so, or enveloped through. Some of the things you described are directly linked to the powers of the Universal Mind. Like I said, everyone can pick that up. If you can it means you are at a higher stage than others, however beware of how you use it, it is not yours, not in this realm. Also it could be a deceiving beginning of something else which many people experience. Jesus encountered a sheik in the desert during his travels from whom he received a blessing. Would you happen to know anything about that? I know some people which Jesus of Nazareth quote, happened to encounter, were insiders. The three kings being the first right after his birth, which were actually five but two were present in the background. The number three in the story serves a symbolic purpose like so many things, read slowly. The gifts were the symbolistic artifacts, some ancient, which through rituals would initiate him into his chosen task, for this he needed to travel to certain places. I have said a few times and I will repeat for the last time. He was not the real Christ. He was made to appear like one by being guided throughout his life up to his death, and after that, the documenting of the words, which started long before his death, although rewritten again at a later time, to release. The five kings were present too during his crucifixion and Jesus of Nazareth knew he would have responded differently if they were not there. Jesus of Nazareth was always aware that he was being guided by them, in fact he sometimes actively searched for them and other insiders. He gave up on two occasions but was guided back. The quote, elite, are making oil look like it is being constantly restored, but are actually storing it. I'd appreciate your thoughts on this. The earth is storing it until they get used, the ones in power just tap into it. Although there are some factions, above the puppets, and they are responsible for the misconception most of which you describe together with the statement that the resources are disappearing. It is the way I described in my answer to a previous question. I'd appreciate your thoughts on Candice Freeze's writings. The writing has some errors. Number one, the Anunnaki are rulers from a different era, they are gone and replaced by others. 10,000 to 15,000 years from now, yes, the earth will be still alive, people will find texts about the rulers of this era thinking it still applies to this. Those texts have been written for the major part already. 
Number 2. If what was written in this text was true, it would mean that at the moment the earth, quote, star friends, and angels would be now rebelling against the divine law of the one. Which is an abomination to even suggest. I had to be very careful how to articulate that to not fall into the trap too. If the person who wrote it does not restore it, she will achieve the opposite of what she desires and taking many souls with her who accept this. Again accept no human intervention between you and the divine. Number 3. The struggle is on a personal level, that means you only can do it. Do not wait for quote, saviors. My only question now, is it really this simple? I will not give away what you have knowingly or inadvertently revealed. I know now that what you say is true, this cannot be told, it must be discovered, for it has no power if it is revealed to one. Is this the reason there is so much secrecy? Not so much that people won't find out because it is quote, just for the elite, but rather, that if they happen to be told it, instead of discovering it they would never have any chance of escape. The truth wants to be known by you, it is its main goal, inviting you every moment of your life, so to be understood by you it is out of necessity simple and to be noticed relating to providence. It is quote, in front of you. The last question has a yes as an answer. If you did find it, thank the divine law, nothing, nobody else. The journey just started, long path. Is this simply an upping of the ante, to test if I have the will to continue, or is there in fact a force that tries to keep people in a sleepwalking state? A force that does not want people to quote, be all they can be. If so, what is the best way to deal with it in your experience? It is connected to the operations of your physical body which rebels every time you reach higher to that realm. Physical body has the task to let you experience this reality and whenever you search for the other, it resists. It is its duty, so, respecting it and gently taming it is the best approach. Also beings will accompany your thoughts and try to divert them, again it is their duty, show respect and that will be recognized by them. Never see them as malicious or evil. They only react to your actions. There is not a force which does not want you to be what you really are. The opposite is true but they also have their tasks that they must fulfill. This is about a material part of you. Shall we forget everything we know? Shall we simply let go of our own ego and accept a different paradigm altogether? That would be very difficult to do, as it has sustained us as individuals in this life. Recollect everything you used to know, devalue the things which were taught to you since you forgot the former, and return. What advice do you have for raising a child on earth? I have no children nor will I have one. The first thing a baby does when born is cry. It does so because the soul is conscious of what it has been born into and is in a state of disbelief. You are more conscious of what you are and where you were during and right after birth than you are now. The soul makes the body cry because it is the first time it came to this physical realm, although this is a very limited number, or because it realizes it has returned through reincarnation, after failing in the former life, which is a vast majority. The soul itself is not the one crying, it is unfamiliar with these functions in its original state, yet the impulses it gives makes the body cry. It cries, quote, without a reason, for days, weeks, months, until the consciousness has lost its power, be it through natural processes or the influence of parents and these days even medication. That is when the human is truly born, after they forget who they are, where they are, some forget faster than others. This crying is different to the crying that follows after the first few months, one can even hear it. Comfort them during this crucial period of consciousness and make it known that the one has gifted them with a chance to return back to the place they belong. This will have an impact which will influence them for the rest of their lives, subconsciously. The time of birth was determined, as is the time of passing on, together with the environment, parents, circumstances of birth, health, etc. Nothing is a coincidence. But during puberty they get cut loose from certain strings and they will be fully responsible for their actions, having the free will to lead the life they want, they determine the quality of it. They can even determine the way they pass on quote, death, by the choices they make but cannot change the time of passing on. 
just a few areas of their lives will be influenced by the tools that the parents have given them. Most of the child's life will be based on free will, which will have very little to nothing to do with parents. You are only important in the first five to six years of the child's life so that is where you can do most good. Use your intuition, not instinct, two different matters. When becoming a parent you are rewarded with qualities which concern raising children which were not available before, listen to them. Every child is different, respond differently but make them aware there is more than they experience, that there is a good source where everything and everybody flows out of for a reason and one day they will return after realizing their task here on earth. Do not tell this all at once but over years and do not tell more than this. If done the right way they will start looking for it on their own for the rest of life, which is their duty. If you present it to them in an obvious way, like religious people do, you will achieve the opposite. Musical instruments were passed on in a different era for a reason and it was not just to listen to other people playing them. Education is one method of manipulation, I have mentioned the others. They will be manipulated, but after puberty they have an important opportunity to undo it. They will also get opportunities during the rest of their lives. You cannot stop the manipulation, neither instigate an awakening, that is up to the child and how it responds to the tools provided to it. The mind of the universe following divine law is always penetrating your child so it is being provided with the chance to awake every moment. It is up to him or her. What do you know of an advanced race who were, and some still are, worshipped as gods? Do you recognize any lords or deities? There is only one race at the present not another special race that is above the other, people are confusing different matters and eras. The one is worshipped and praised as what you call quote God. The word quote, God, is a corrupt term, it would imply that you as a human would have control over the invocated higher being, like before, I had to be careful how to phrase it to not fall into the trap myself. I would say do not use it, but it is your own choice with consequences. The One has many manifestations, emanations, characteristics which are present in a hierarchy of beings with different workings but operating together. All are incorporeal, immaterial although some may operate bodies in a fashion different to ours, some by lowering their frequency which is actually emanating a form from themselves, may appear in the material world. All are praised for they are the one who creates the good and they direct this to the One too. You people worship some humans as quote, gods, be it quote, prophets, quote, celebrity, sportsmen, politicians, authors, etc. which is an abomination. What do you eat? Where does it come from? What nature provides directly. I have a greenhouse which provides me with certain vegetables and fruit which sprang from uncontaminated seeds. I have some healthy animals which provide me with meat, eggs, milk. I get my water from an underground spring. For you to know, bread can be bought at small independent bakeries, especially the quote, foreign, ones who do not use the same ingredients as the quote, natives, they are not free from them but better still. Some of the food and drinks sold in these quote, foreign, run shops will be better for you than the ones sold in supermarkets. This is not how the rest of my family lives, they have quote, servants which provide them with their needs with the products from their own properties, factories, farms, etc. Insider, what can you tell me about Nikola Tesla? Do you think he completed or failed his quote, mission, here on Earth? All knowledge is passed on, Xlas was two to him, they are not his original ideas. Two insiders passed on to him the knowledge, knowing Xla would use it to advance the plan, which was alive then, to gain control over the energy resources from certain bloodlines by diminishing their value with quote, new, technology. Xla made it public to the wrong people and ended the whole thing. Clever individual, not so clever human. Insiders from the minority must be vigilant, because of these kind of events. Are there any wholesale events on the horizon that will translate into a quantum leap in mass consciousness and or redefine life and the way it is lived? No, not like that. As mentioned a few times it is on a personal level, meaning you getting self-conscious yourself through the tools available to you, I have described some as far as I am allowed to. 
There may be an event which would alter the way civilization is perceived now, it happened before many times, but that will have nothing to do with what you mentioned. Your duty towards the one and yourself still stays the same, no matter what happens. Do not waste energy waiting for events, being generic and inanimate, your stay will only be extended. I might add this which may sound contrary to what I said but listen carefully. When masses are made to believe something negative, they may create what they did not want, which is how for instance the quote NWO, like you people name it, works. You are believing it is taking shape, so it will take shape and theorists are major players in helping this taking shape by bombarding you with quote, facts, that it is taking shape. Claiming you are giving in power every day, and they control you more, while in reality you are in full control. So the people who are quote, waking up, to it are the ones who are creating it. Visualization also works that way around. But, I repeat, even if these things would happen your duty towards the one and yourself still stays the same. Have the husband and wife relationships of the quote, higher beings, been compromised? Have those created to be together by the one parted ways because they reject their duties? If so, on which side of this rift do you reside? Is your God a self-existent one? Again there is confusion about higher beings and the souls and bodies be it bloodline or not. Higher beings and souls are different entities. Higher beings do not enter bodies in this era, which lasted longer than you think. They are incorporeal, do not experience this world like we do. Souls are corporeal. We are in this material, physical plane and experience its slow frequencies as reality, although we may float above it and experience the higher realm too. I should talk about this briefly, you are not in the body but encompass and envelop it while being present in another invisible body which consists of similar elements to the soul, which is you, yet this invisible body is entangled with the physical plane, this is very important for you to understand and connects with the visible body through energies transmitted by the invisible body to the brains, heart and areas in the spine. Hence we, as souls, may control the body and its functions, making us experience this realm. Souls are dual, meaning you are also somewhere else, waiting to be united in another realm. Some bloodlines refuse their duties just like non-bloodlines do, suffering the consequences connected to it. Many bloodlines do not know either. The quote, rift, is not where you think it is, it is on a personal level, meaning me and you too. I am from a minority within the faction which is getting smaller. I explained why the word quote, God, is not used for its traps in the meaning. The one is self-existent, pure, good and indeed the one who creates the good. Insider Are you saying here that the quote, old, ways were based on truth and were correct? Should we seek the old ways and follow them? Is being in harmony with the quote, mother, something we should seek? Is the Divine One more interested in our hearts or our minds? Which is stronger? Were the teachings of Jesus regarding love a message that we should pay attention to? Are we stronger than you as a collective? Are we imprisoned here because of our quote, sinful, nature or because of our lack of understanding? The first appearances of knowledge are closer to the truth than the latter ones. Think of the ripple created in a pond when throwing something in it. The further the waves get from the core, the weaker they are, finally stopping. 4,000 years ago is relatively young in this era. Wrong translations, wrong interpretations and additions, deletions will mislead you. Therefore search for the mind of the universe which will enable you to pick out the truths and later on directly pass it through. Being in harmony with everything the Divine Law is providing us with which were designed to realize our return without interpreting it in human terms. The Divine One is, there is no quote interested, quote wanting, etc. Although its emanations, manifestations, characteristics may act according to the One. We do not have a mind, we may interact with the mind which may allow us to be become one with it. To have something is owning it. Owning means mastering it or having it under your control at the least. We do not master the mind, neither do we control it. Most confuse using intelligence with having a mind while using the intelligence is merely an operation granted to us by the mind. 
a soul does have different essences, it consists out of certain quote, parts covers. Although it is one being, one of them could be called the heart, that which connects to the spring of life which keeps us alive, provided by the one through its emanations. All essences are as important. Listen to this slowly. Love, it is not to be understood in human terms, that is the corrupt version. The teachings of the real Christ are not the teachings of Jesus of Nazareth, although the latter adopted many from the former. I remember I would not mention it again, but this context needs it. The Christ has a different name, but I will use this term because that is what people are familiar with. The message was there since the real Christ revealed itself in another era than ours. Jesus of Nazareth was part of our era. There is a difference in the way it is being spread in Christianity and it is corrupt. Without the appearance of the real Christ on earth we would not know how to return for the divine law which through the universal mind allows us to ascend, was revealed by the real Christ. Where we are, what, who, how, why, when, all revealed by it in accordance to the will of the good one and the real Christ should get all the praise, it is crucial. Not that it needs your praise, Higher beings don't need us for anything in our present form, but it is a way to let it be known that you are conscious about it. You need the recognition that it grants you. Divinity can make one human be stronger in every way than all humans combined. What I am allowed to tell is that you are still here because of your lack of understanding. Do not think in quote as, but, quote, I. The quote as, will come later in another realm. If the quote, Christ, came in another era, why did he fail his mission? Be careful with what you say, you are harming yourself. The real Christ did its duty fully and successfully, now it is your turn. If you fail do not blame the divine. Divinity is blameless in earthly matters. When you get sunburned, do you blame the sun which maintains life on earth and beyond or do you blame yourself for laying hours doing nothing on the beach without protection? This will be my last statement, it is done. This was according to the divine law which is above my family or anyone on earth and beyond. The minority passes it on when ordered by the higher beings, understand this. There are two undesired movements which were known to happen to me. I would have stayed longer, although most areas have been covered. I answered as much as I was allowed to in the simplest manner I could. I had to write fast for a reason. If you choose to, thank every day the good one where everything has its beginning for being, for its divine law providing you with a chance to return to your original state, the realm you truly belong to, for its power of necessity applying the justified corrections that you experience every day. Praise the higher beings who operate according to the One's divine law, which are manifestations and emanations of the One, for providing the means of life in all areas. Sustaining them and providing these means for your benefit, guiding you to the release and more. When addressing divinity be careful to articulate well, do not demand, tell, beg, order, suggest, ask. Which are abhorrences, just state and your duty. Understand the questions I raised by answering you, I said more than you heard, pass it on.